Hello, my dear Gemini. How are you? Welcome to your reading. My name is Sabbath. Welcome to Sabbath Tarot. This Gemini is going to be a reading for the following week. Happy long weekend, <laughs> wherever you are. Remember, Gemini, that this is an open reading. Certainly, there could be messages for you if you have felt drawn. And let's get started to see what is the current energy for you, dear. You're very, very welcome here, okay? Let's see for our dear Gemini. What is the energy, spirit? What is the energy for Gemini for the following week? What is happening for Gemini right now? We have the owl, Gemini. Very, very beautiful energy here. Now, let's see. I feel that... You're really in this observing type of energy right now, okay? It could be that you're observing your options very carefully. I do feel like you could be also very, very wise in regards to the decisions that you're making in regards to your future, your goals, your plans. I just feel like this is such a pragmatic energy, you know? It's like, it could be that now you're going more with the energy of practicality and experience you know this is like almost giving me queen of swords energy and it is your sign it is your element i feel that there is a lot of fortune for the following week here coming through there could be decisions here that you're making that is going to be leading to fortune for you some of you i'm hearing inheritance that's like so specific or this could be an investment you're making this could be a home this could be speaking of a job opportunity whatever it may be i feel like because of how observing you are and how wise you are and how experienced you are you're going to be very very fortunate you know, to have something, to have success, to have abundance. Now, it's very important right now, Gemini, for you to focus on the energy of positivity, to surround yourself with the energy of positivity, whether it be through music, whether it be through nature, whether it be through meditation, because I feel like it's very important for you to not be with your thoughts alone, to sit through your thoughts alone because as a gemini i feel like sometimes you really tend to get in your head this also is speaking of the energy of lack you know it's like it's very important for you what you're focusing on and what you're channeling your energy through okay perhaps this could have to do with the people that you're surrounding yourself with you know whether those people make you happy whether they add to your life whether they help you now specifically i want to tell you there could be a connection for you coming in that feels <laughs> it feels very sweet it feels very how do i even put it i feel like there could be a lot of non-verbal energy i don't know if you and this person see each other a lot but there's a lot of eye contact there's a lot of eye contact. it's like you know this person could really see you and speak to you through their eyes you know maybe they're not really good at communicating maybe there are things that this person doesn't really feel comfortable telling you but you can read their eyes you know you can <laughs> you can read it in their eyes i'm just gonna leave it at that um this also is speaking of someone who's very observant of you you know this could be someone who watches that for you someone who cares for you someone who is patient with you i'm just tapping onto such adorable and like down-to-earth person someone who really also who could remember things about you all right now let's do your tarot and see what's going on for you gemini so far beautiful okay um also i would like to say in regards to this connection it might be taking some time for you and this person to open up to one another or perhaps warming up to one another but it's very natural okay so don't um rush you know anything don't rush yourself take your time to get to know this person and open up to them especially if this is more of a new energy you know but we'll see here yeah the five of um pentacles wanted to show itself but i'm kind of hesitant to put it there let me just see what the energy is for you so we have the queen of wands the eight of wands Mm -hmm. the seven of pentacles yeah and the nine of cups yeah the reason why i'm kind of hesitant to put it there because i feel like it's more of a past energy i feel like you're past this now you know and 
this energy doesn't belong in your space anymore. Um, who knows, maybe you've been dwelling a little bit on the past. Maybe you've been reflecting a lot onto the past decisions, you know, recently. Now, you're going to be really stepping into this energy of being in the moment, I feel, you know, for the following week onwards. You are, I don't know if you could hear that car speeding in the background, but um, there's an energy of go, go, go. There's an energy of focusing on the plans you have, the things that you want to see come to fruition, the things that you want to achieve and really manifesting things easily you know you could be connecting with the fire energy earth as well as water we have here all right air pretty much actually all the signs are coming through but you take what resonates strongly fire i'm seeing libra some of you you're really coming into this conclusion of i deserve so much you know that there is yet so many things for me to experience there's a whole life that i have ahead of me so many things to be grateful for so many things to look at you know and i feel like there's definitely an energy of becoming alive there's an energy of deep 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 gratitude is something i keep hearing for you all right um that could also really help you to align okay with the energy of positivity and with the energy of love i feel like it's always a link gratitude is like the best link ever to the most high frequency which is love right which is pleasure and everything now there is a person here okay <laughs> i'm having the same energy there is a person here who definitely could want you and this is someone who's very highly attracted to you I feel that there could be messages this person is sending you, there could be dates, there could be a lot of hints here and there, okay? This also could be speaking of someone who wants to impress you, someone who wants to um, rather win you type of energy, you know? They could definitely remember a lot about you. I don't know why I keep hearing that or maybe they keep remembering the last time they saw you, let's say, what you wore, how you smelled, how you looked. I don't know why I'm getting that. Well, let's see here. Spirit, what is the energy for Gemini? What does the future hold for Gemini? What is the energy? Wow. And we have the King of Wands now. We have a pair. All right. Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. That's so interesting. Um, I feel like you're opening yourself up to love. I feel like you're really opening yourself up to people helping you, people coming into your life and being there for you, you know? And this person, again, strong fire energy is coming through, okay, water and earth. I feel like there's a particular connection that's going to be really fulfilling for you and the way you're going to know is that you i don't know why i just heard baby fever that's like so specific <laughs> i don't think i've ever heard that before but i was gonna say you're gonna almost feel this energy of i don't want to be single anymore like i feel like i could see myself being with this person in a relationship you know like Maybe whenever you two spend time with one another, it feels like you're already a couple. You get what I mean? That There's that kind of an energy that's coming through of, I don't know why I'm single. You know, I don't know what I'm waiting for. You know, I could just literally be with this person and that's it. Um, but yeah, a very, very reciprocal energy. A person who's giving to you. A person who gifts to you as you're giving to them. You know, a, a lot of balance energy. A lot of observing energy a lot of caring and considerate energy this person could also be very polite by the way the person you're connecting with um or very refined like i'm tapping onto a person who might have been like the quiet kid maybe in school the quiet kid maybe in their family i don't know why i'm hearing that maybe they're like um the oldest child or the only child uh something around that like this person has always been there for others but they've also been very independent. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I feel like you're not going to be alone. This is a week full of experiences. And 
Um, also weak when you are going out more. You know, there's an energy of you going out. You're not sitting home all by yourself. Um, so I don't know if there are plans coming out. But that's something I'm hearing. I, I didn't mean to say plans coming out. Wow. I was going to say plans coming through. Um, some of you, someone could be either planning something out to see you maybe. Or to do something. To offer you something. To ask you in regards to something but that could be serious just saying okay any angel messages do we have for our dear gemini spirits yes we have a lot of two interestingly in your reading um maybe you have two energies that you're connecting with or this also is the energy choices right trust in your ability to make excellent choices there is opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward it may be time to take on a new partner. Wow. Who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors? Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Wow. Exactly. You know, I feel like I was just telling you that you're going to be more in the moment. And there's also this energy of you not being afraid to putting yourself out there and for a lot of you i feel like gemini there is a beautiful energy joining you here there could be a person that's going to really help you be better help you grow and vice versa i just feel like there's such reciprocation when it comes to this connection and there's a reason why you two have cross paths um, i feel like you both feel this need to be with one another you both could feel this need to be in a relationship let's say and it's like it's uh, you can read it in their eyes. You can read it in their actions that they also feel this way towards you, right? Um, but yeah, I see, I definitely see a transition here. And it could be, there could be a chance for you, a probability, a high probability for you to end up in a relationship with this person or get close, very, very close with them. All right. We also have two of thought. Your angels have noticed that you are not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Wow, a lot of choices. I just saw 13, 13 on my phone. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Um, you could be a little bit confused right now, Gemini, okay? Or this also could be speaking of maybe there's two people you're connecting with. Maybe there's more than two. Maybe there this could be two job offers, let's say, you know? And what the spirit here is telling you is that you're going to make the best choice for yourself. Listen to your gut feeling and also go with the choice that makes you feel the most comfortable, that feels the most safe to you. All right. And I always say, take your time. If you're not sure, take as much time as you need. Maybe be with that person a little bit more. Maybe go on a trip with them. Maybe spend more time with them. But do not feel rushed to make a decision when you're not ready. Okay, so this is all I have for you, my dear. Gemini, I feel like you're going to definitely be very, very successful, very happy with your choices that you're making. And... What is meant for you will not pass you by, okay? I'm going to definitely end this reading on that note. <laughs> if you would like to have a personal reading with me, you can contact me through my email. They're available right now. It's in the description box below. Also, you can follow me on my new channel, Sista. There's actually a new Pick a Cart reading I just posted today. And also my Instagram page. I'm sending my kiss. Bye, remember some my love and light. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, darling.